lucky to find you here. It is. But do you know the nature of luck? You're referring to the Bayesian interpretation of conditional probability. Of course I am! More colloquially, when the universe smiles at you. Right, except for Martin Rees's six numbers. The six dimensionless constants that make up the very fundamental structure of our universe. Do you have a hypothesis? I thought you'd never ask. We can redefine reality. Nobody's ever discovered the nature of luck. And if we find Reese's six numbers in this box, this is Pandora's cereal box. Once we open it, God have mercy on our souls. Have you told anybody else about this? Of course I haven't. But I've told you. In my opinion, that's one too goddamn many. Oh, I gotta think here. I gotta think. It's too late now to go back. You know what we have to do. We counted every last marshmallow in the box. 27 shamrocks, 21 hearts, 18 balloons, 11 horseshoes, 24 rainbows, 23 hourglasses, 10 shooting stars. With an additional 180 total marshmallow swirled moons. 36 yellow, 16 green, 37 red, 39 orange, 37 purple, and 15 blue. For a total of 314 marshmallows. 314, or approximately pi times 10. We were on to something. Let's not waste our time reconstructing the standard model Lagrangian. Your assertion's been discredited decades ago by the Penrose Hawking Singularity Theorem. Martin Rees's six numbers. And the ratio governing the relative strength of gravity versus electrostatics, 10 to the power of 36, or shooting stars to the power of yellow swirled moons. I said eigenvector, not eigenvalue. Epsilon, the fraction of proton mass converted to energy in helium fusion, 0 0.007. Or the inverse of the total number of swirled moons minus horseshoes. You wouldn't know a Riemann sum from a Hermitian matrix. Well, it's not rocket science. It's just the Birch and Swinnerton Dyer conjecture. Omega, the ratio determining the density and fate of our universe, 0 0.3. Or the same proportion of balloons to shamrocks, hourglasses, and shooting stars. Lambda, the energy density ratio of the universe, 0 0.7. Energy is the heart of the universe, and a blue moon happens every two years. So, 21 divided by 30, 0. Seven. What do you suggest next? Spontaneous non-perturbative symmetry breaking and oscillating neutrinos? The numbers, they're all here, man. You're spinning your wheels with a Riemann hypothesis when you should be calculating Yang Mill's existence and mass gap. D, the number of physical dimensions, three. Or, the number of moons divided by hourglasses, shamrocks, and shooting stars. Let's not confuse theory with conjecture. We're not sitting in a bubble chamber here. We can't irradiate the neutrino beams of a Z boson. Q, the ratio of the dispersal energy to rest mass of a galactic supercluster, 10 to the negative five. Or, the inverse of total marshmallows squared. We found the numbers. That's it. We've done it. This changes everything. The numbers, they're all here. If we were off by one marshmallow, it would all be different. It would all be meaningless, yet here we are. Why aren't you celebrating? You've just taken part in the most wondrous mathematical discovery of our modern era. What do you have to say for yourself? I ate a blue swirled moon. What? You did what? You did what? What? Well, right around when you started applying Hilbert's irreducibility theorem, I just... Well, I couldn't stop myself. It just looked so yummy. No, oh, I hope it was goddamn yummy. You've just destroyed 16 years of work and destroyed any hope of us unraveling the mysteries of the universe in our lifetimes. I also... Eight fourteen. the Frosted Toasted Oats. You ate... Wait, how many did you say? Fourteen? Fourteen Frosted Toasted Oats. I just couldn't resist. You couldn't resist. The, the quantized, quantized Hall Resistance, resistance and Josephson, Josephson Effect. We've done it! Ah! I found the Higgs boson! Oh, it's just a pink heart.